Okay, look at that. Nice flip. And it's a goal! And oh, someone drove, just off. drove themselves off the island. 30 competitors, five grand prize winners, and thousands and thousands of Lego bricks. This is Luminosity Academy Lego Technic First Class. On the off chance that you've been cryogenically frozen for the last 100 years, don't freak out. This is called the internet, and you're watching a competition show where kids from all over the United States and Canada are vying for a spot in Luminosity Academy. Luminosity Academy is a unique, one-of-a-kind gaming org by Luminosity Gaming, the leaders in all things gaming, esports, and entertainment. Only five lucky winners will get to be part of Luminosity Academy's very first class. And to win, contestants will have to prove they have what it takes by excelling in challenges involving Lego Technic builds, video games, and more. This week, we're putting our contestants to the test with a series of increasingly deadly challenges involving poisonous snakes. Whoa, 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 what? Uh, uh so, sorry, I misread the prompter. Uh, increasingly thought-provoking challenges that'll put their mechanical and spatial skills to the test. Much better, you had me worried for a second. Anyway, before we get to our immunity challenge, let's check in with our very own spatial someone, our building skill master, Other Moon. We're still doing this bit, huh? Okay, thanks guys. Today's Lego Technic set, Dom's Dodge Charger, represents a vehicle that has taken some major creative liberties with the laws of physics in the Fast and the Furious movies but it still obeys basic mechanical principles, which I will demonstrate through this Lego Technic build. Based on the iconic 1970s Dodge Charger RT, this Lego Technic model is packed with authentic details. In this section of the build, I'm creating the gearbox that will connect the drivetrain to the rear axles. Technic sets emulate the actual mechanics of real-world vehicles to a great degree, and Dom's Dodge Charger is no exception. And just like Dom's Charger, our next immunity challenge is about living life a quarter mile at a time in an epic vehicle battle derby. If our contestants want to be a part of Luminosity Academy, they'll need to demonstrate elite mechanics in our Vehicle Battle Derby. Fifteen contestants will be going head-to-head -head on a Fortnite Bumper Cars map, where they will be trying to knock their opponents off the island. Over eight rounds, the winner of each round will gain immunity and automatically move on to the next stage of the competition. The remaining seven contestants will have to face an elimination challenge. So without further ado, let's get ready to enter the Vehicle Battle Derby Thunderdome! All right, the first round begins here. Let's go ahead and do this. They are getting in their vehicles. Now remember, the way this works is there's gonna be multiple rapid fire rounds, if you will, where each time one person will be saved. And, oh, someone drove off. drove themselves off the island. These players are holding on for their life in this competition. Now, soon enough, what ends up happening is the storm starts shrinking and the map will actually get smaller and smaller and smaller. And it looks like the match is coming to a close here as the storm has consumed everybody. <gasps> Oof, first round, first round. And so it looks like Tristan actually was the winner of round one. Congratulations, Tristan. You are now immune and we'll be seeing you in week four. Hey, all I'm feeling is relief. Being through the first elimination round, doing the Lego trivia was already stressful enough. And then going to the second elimination challenge, all I was feeling was stress. I am so relieved that I was able to finally make it past an immunity challenge. I have been practicing all week with a proxy. I'm glad to see that finally something has come to plan. And uh, I'm glad to just see that I'm going to be baking it and skipping past this next elimination challenge. We are now in the second round here. It is a very dark map, hard to see. And in fact, they're driving golf carts, golf which cart. is quite the change. Being their golf carts, they don't have as much pushing power as the trucks do. And in reality, to yeet someone off the edge, as they would say in Fortnite, is not going to be easy. You know one of them, or all of them, are bound to fall into the the explosion trap. Well, this is absolute chaos at the Thunderdome, as it has now gotten so dark again that it's difficult to tell what's going on. Oh my, the storm is shrinking ever so quickly. 
And we now have our winner. It looks like it might have been Avery cheering himself to victory. I'm super excited. Tris being number one, me being number two. The practice paid off completely. I know I would have slayed in the Rock League Trickshot Challenge, but honestly, I'm proud to win this one and to show off my Minecraft build in the next round. All right, so round three is here. We are back with the trucks now on the original map. A lot easier to see, and the contestants now are seasoned oh, at what's up. going on here. And we've got fewer contestants on the board here. Little by little, it should become easier and harder in another way. No, are you kidding me? Nerves have got to be increasing, knowing that your chances to become immune are dwindling. All right, so a lot of people bunching up at the middle. There hasn't been much play on pushing people out of there. They are bouncing around like popcorn cooking in a microwave. Like what? what Someone drove themselves off the edge. We usually don't recommend that strategy. And it looks like a winner has been oh. determined. Our third contender immune today is missing thoughts. It seems like at the moment, most people have adopted a strategy of just trying to compete to get a little bit closer to center, as opposed to at the beginning when we first saw, where people were actually trying to knock each other out. They know they are holding on to their chance to remain in this competition for another week. Oh, there we go. We had a flipped vehicle caught between two of the pitfall traps. Not a good position to be in. And it looks like we are about to have our round winner there. And Glue Ghost able to secure the victory right there. He is our fourth contender with immunity. And it looks like we're back to the golf cart map, which this should be interesting. So many drivers are now backed off to the side. This is hilarious to watch. To be fair though, like we discussed in the first golf cart round, it's nearly impossible for one of them to hit the other golf cart off. It's not like the trunks. It's very interesting to see the strategies change from round to round. This is about what I would imagine a battle between a group of golf carts in real life might look like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the map just got destroyed right beneath someone's feet. What a way to go out. Uh oh, don't want to get caught on the outside of this fight. Closing in. And boom, Let's go. we have our winner, Faison Mystery, our fifth contestant saved today. And now we are in round six. Golf oh. carts rolling around. We had someone knock the player out of the golf cart and then almost push the, and zombies are attacking. Wow. Zombies everywhere. You know, I've never been golfing with zombies, but I can't imagine it being fun. Kind of feels like the end of the world. And as that round comes to a close, it is Diamond Hunter taking the sixth immunity. Two remaining after this as we go into round seven. Those that are left know how close they are. They only have two more opportunities to gain that immunity that they definitely want in today's challenges. Fewer and fewer players on the map now. One player out of their golf cart and getting knocked around a bunch while they try to flip their golf cart back over. It is not working well for them though. The traps are now in play, making it a little more difficult for them to take over the middle. Oh, and it looks like Red almost getting pushed off into the pitfall trap and then saving themselves at the last second. Let me in. They're desperately trying to push each other toward those pits. The storm is closing in. And Seabass Hawk proves victorious. Here it is, the final round, last chance for immunity. We have eight players driving their golf carts around, just one of them. One of them will be immune today. Oh, and there we go. We had a golf cart push off another golf cart. Something that hasn't happened up until now, I'm pretty sure. And that was certainly the fastest we've seen that happen in all of these immunity rounds. Dude, what? Oh, oh, flirting with the edge and they are off. TJ Coolish, better luck in the elimination challenge. We got a face off between these two carts. They are just trying to get each other. Ground is now starting to come apart. 
The storm is closing in. Oh my, this is gonna be a fight to the bitter end. Everyone knowing this is their last chance at immunity. The storm closes and we have our winner. <laughs> Bray the Reaper was able to hang in the center just long enough. Congratulations to everyone who won immunity. You are automatically moving on to round four of our competition. Everyone else? Make sure to keep your head in the game, because every challenge counts. Before we move on to the elimination challenge, let's check in with the most handsome person I know. Hey, thanks, man. You're pretty handsome yourself. Mechanical skills are only part of the equation when it comes to building a Lego Technic model like Dom's Dodge Charger. It requires spatial skills, too. And understanding how everything fits together isn't just for connecting components in a Lego Technic build like I'm doing right now. It's also an important way to think about how you approach any piece of content you make. The structure is crucial in having proper spatial skills. The ability to understand how and why everything fits together will help you for any kind of project. So much of what I understand about how the world works, how buildings, machines, and systems fit together, I learned from my experience building with LEGO as a child. Building with LEGO Technic sets helps builders learn how to take that mechanical and spatial awareness to the next level. Whether building a fence for your yard or a desk for your stream rig in the real world, or building an epic habitat in Minecraft, Developing a deep spatial and mechanical understanding can have a positive impact on so many things in the physical and virtual world. Wow, that was some seriously impressive Lego technique. It's pronounced Lego Technic. Yeah, I, I know, I was making a... Technic yourself before you recnic yourself, bro. <laughs> because it's time for today's elimination challenge. In today's elimination challenge, our remaining seven contestants are competing in a good old fashioned Rocket League trick shot throwdown. Each contestant will get three attempts and will be judged on both style and goal completion. The top four scoring competitors will move on to the final round and then only two will emerge victorious and move on to the next stage of the competition. The sky is literally the limit. Well, the dome above them. The, the dome, the <laughs> dome is the limit. First up, we have Dr. Meatloaf. Let's see what he has in store for us. There we go, he's rocketing off from the start. He does a one and a half flip. Wait a minute, now he's going upside down. He's not gonna go for the other goal, is he? Oh no, I think he bit off more than he could chew, sadly. Solid attempt, very creative. Unfortunately, the execution didn't come into play. He's trying again, he overshot it. No, that was the point though. A front flip into a reverse shot, but unfortunately was not able to make it happen. This is it, it's all down to this, his third attempt. The first two were more or less failed. However, let's see. All right, he's going for one and a half flips, and now we'll be doing the upside down reverse shot. Things are looking good so make far, it? and no! It's a miss. Slightly to the left. All right, up next is Junkman. Let's see what he can do. All right, here we go, the first attempt here. Let's see what's going on. So he hits it diagonally into the corner, interesting. I'm not really sure what he's going for here, but we'll see, and I guess that was the end of the attempt. He must have bailed out early. Heading straight toward the ball. Not seeing a lot of tricks early on in this. All right. And it looks like, I think I know what they're going for. They're trying to bring it up the corner, meet it in the middle, and then slam it on in. But unfortunately, it looks like he was not able to materialize that shot. All right, this is Sunny 30. Oh! And it looks like what he's going for is having someone launch the ball for him and trying to connect in front of the goal. Using his booster to skate across the field here. Will he be able to make it work in the third try? No, yet again. Next up, we've got Drewster. Oh, here we go. He's lining up for his first shot. He drove right past the ball. Oh my, is he going for, oh, and turning himself around. We might have 
Our first goal from Drewster. He used the opposite goal to do a flip. That was pretty incredible. Well, now that he successfully made it happen on the first one, will he do something different for the second and third attempts? He might as well, but it looks like he's really gonna hammer it home that he has nailed this trick. And it looks like TJ is coolish is up for his attempts. All right, he's lining up for his first shot. He's going for a dead center attempt. Let's see what he had in mind. All right, he's speeding off. And hits it off the top wall. Oh, but it looks like he cannot make it stay in the net. So here we go, overshot on purpose, of course. Then jumps up with a rocket booster and slams it in. TJ with a good move. TJ is coolish, yes. Yes, he is. And oh, it looks like TJ is coolish is attempting to do the same move again, but unfortunately was not able to hit the backboard and actually just made it off the shot. <laughs> that's okay for TJ though, as being he made it on his second attempt, that's still usable. Next up, we've got Rally. All right, here he goes, lining up for the first shot. Ooh, okay, look at that. Nice flip, and it's a goal! All right, here he goes for his second attempt. He does a front flip, then a back flip, and then he jumps over the ball. This should be interesting. And now he's gonna go into reverse. Let's see if he can make the reverse shot. And no, he unfortunately misses the goal. But that's okay, he did make the first one. We've got a flip there. Another flip there. And he's good. Moving on to the next round, we've got Drewster, Sun A30, TJ, and Rally. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go, Sun A30 lining up for his one shot. He does a backflip. Oh! Looks like he made it. All right, TJ is up. Let's see what he can do. Here we go. Ah, he missed. Drewster's up. Let's see what this guy can do. Ooh, okay, look at that. Nice flip. And he's good. All right, Rally does a flip. He is now going to be rocket boosting over the ball. I'm imagining he's going for a reverse shot, but will he steal? He does, he does do the upside down maneuver. Let's see what happens. And oh. oh! Contact, not in the right direction. All right, so the first person moving on is going to be TJ from this challenge. He had an excellent performance, super good showmanship. Unfortunately, he was not able to get the ball in the goal, but we really love what he was going for and believe that he deserves it. And Drewster, his setup was beautiful and he nailed that goal. It was a slam dunk. So congratulations, TJ and Drewster, you get to move on. Hey Drewster, you lost that derby car immunity challenge and faced stiff competition in the trick shot challenge. What was going through your mind? I was pretty nervous because I'm not really good at trick shots, so I kind of wanted to secure my place in the making it past that because, and I wanted to play it safe and not go for these insane like air dribble trick shots because I'm not very good at those. We've got Minecraft build coming up. Are you looking forward to showing us what you got? I look forward to showing my Minecraft build of how creative I think I made it. I, I definitely could have put more time into it, but I'm, I think I'm ready to show it off. Awesome, Drewster. Thanks a lot, bud. All right, so now we're joined by TJ. You won the last challenge. How has everything been going overall for you? Oh my God, thank you so much. I, I never really played Rocket League. This is like my first time playing the game in over like eight months. When it went in, I was completely like, confused because I did not know how to trick shot before this and I, st I still can't. But the fact that I actually did a coolish trick shot on Rocket League and the fact that I made it in in this challenge with the anxiety that was running through me, I was just beyond relieved and happy. Are you looking forward to showing off your Minecraft build? I am really excited to show you guys my Minecraft build. This is fire. Trust me, you do not want to make. Hint, hint, snake. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we're excited to see what you have in store. Thank you so much. See you. Well, uh, there's only one thing left to do, Boone. See if they still have dried mango at the snack table? Uh, okay, there are two things left to do. Eat some dried mango and see how that Lego Technic build is going. 
Hey, save me some snacks too, will ya? All this building is making me hungry. As you can see, my creative appetite was not bigger than my stomach, and we're nearly finished with Dom's Dodge Charger. By combining mechanical skills and spatial awareness, I'm charging ahead to complete this Lego Technic Dom's Dodge Charger. With its sleek classic design, moving engine, and steering, and its opening trunk packed with nitrous tanks, this muscle car packs a punch and is ready for some serious stunts. Our remaining 10 competitors will have to remember everything they've learned so far if they want to carve out a space for themselves at Luminosity Academy. Here's a sneak peek at what's in store. See you next time. If you go inside, it's nice in here. I have a dog. I also added it stepping on a Lego. <laughs> it's a giant Kraken. Whoa! We've got Jerome, who's been commanding this whole operation. It's not a dragon if it doesn't shoot fireballs, right? And now is the time for them to pick the brains of these icons. Contestants, do you have any questions for the mentors? 